Okay, y'all. Uh, the reason why this video is so goddamn late is because it wasn't. Um, I had this video ready and uploaded, good to go. Um, but then I realized that maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh. There are actually some people out there who identify so much with a unit that if you shit talk a unit, they consider it a personal attack and will become horribly depressed or angry. And while, hey, it is what it is, and that's gonna fucking happen, maybe I can just present this information as a little bit less biased and uh, shit on a unit in a more constructive way. Um, you can probably tell by the way that I'm carrying myself right now that no, I'm not a fan of this banner whatsoever. Do I think you should roll on it? Fuck no, and let me tell you why. Now first off, I would like to say that every single unit on this banner does have a place to be pseudo useful for who they are. But this video is for free to play budget players to where if they're gonna pick a banner um, to invest on, should this be it? Once again, big old fat nope, but if you wanna hear my reasoning, here's why. First one is Astina. Okay, there is something wrong with Astina. I'm not, I'm not sure if you watched my balance patch video, but CN had to fix her ability to not working properly. I don't know about y'all, but I am not interested in a unit that is not performing properly. I don't know why they patched it on CN and they did not patch it on global, but if somebody tells me, hey, this unit is not working as intended, I do not want anything to do with them until they're fucking fixed. I tested her. She's supposed to hit three targets when you scale her up a couple times. Um, there were some times where I saw her only hit two. Maybe I was imagining things, but I tested it for about 40 to 50 minutes, and I did notice sometimes she would only attack twice. Maybe I'm fucking crazy. Maybe the animation fused together, but I didn't see it. Regardless, Estina is a fine and dandy unit, but once again, you have to understand that this banner is going directly up against um, the Schwartz banner. And I don't know about y'all, but I much prefer Glaucus over Estina. Yes, they do much different things, but they relatively do the same thing in the same role, which is they are a support slower, okay? Same thing with Angelina. I like Glaucus, PC counters drones. I don't know where I would want to bring Estina all the time, but I do know Glaucus is a time and place every single time there is a drone on the field. So I would much prefer a role for a Glaucus over an Estina. That being said, if you do want to get a scene, if you do identify with her as a character, she's amazing. Always waifu over meta. Um, you know, the game really isn't that serious where you need to go for meta picks every single time. Um, you get extra attack speed. It's super dope. Minus defense. That's all right. She doesn't really lose that much. Um, comparatively, it's all right. She's a range unit. She's not going to get hit that much. Anyways, if you play it right, um, you have the ability to, which is pretty much the main ability you're always going to be using. Um, increase your attack by 30%. Uh, change your single attack into a try hit. So this is effectively increasing your damage by 260%, which is absolutely fantastic. Her base stats are actually quite good for uh, comparatively to other units of her role. So Cena is a fine pick. However, I do feel like there are other better things that you can uh, get for her in her role. And I don't feel like this role is necessary as a whole. Um, unless it's like Glaucus for a drone counter. Or like an Angelina for like a buffer and an AoE healer. Next, we have... Who do we have? We have Sora. Now, Sora is a very interesting one. Because I hear all the time about how Sora is a tier 1 unit. One of the best buffers in the entire game. Nah, dude, fucking miss me with that overhyped bullshit. She's okay. She's okay, you know? Her skins are awesome. Dude, she ain't all that in a bag of chips, dude. Fuck that. Her kit is so goddamn niche. And let me tell you, all of the abilities are all the plays that you can use for her. Now, the biggest thing to note about this operator is that E2, if you have her at max potential, she's a five cost. And dog, that's pretty much for free, right? She's pretty much for free, but you got to understand that this unit is taking up the unit limit. Now, let me tell you the scenarios that you're going to bring uh, this unit into. First of all, um, her traits, which is her main kit and caboodle, she doesn't attack. All she does is heal, and she heals equal to 10% of her attack power every second. But keep in mind, at E2 max level 80, she is going to have 335 attack power, which, yes, you guessed it, that is... Hey, that's fuck all, okay? That is fuck all. So best case scenario, she can heal everybody in her range for 33.5 every second, which is better than Angelina's base heal of uh, 25 every second, but that's universal. The only units that are gonna get healed by this ability are the ones in her range, and that is giga limiting. But we will circle back to that, okay? Because then I see people defending it uh, with her Song of Slumber. Let's say for some fucking reason you level 7 M3 this shit, okay? 
It's going to increase your attack range to actually make it not shit. It's going to be the same range as uh, Saria's ability too. Um, and it's going to disable every unit in that area, which is uh, all enemies within attack range, enter sleep status, stun, plus invulnerable. Additionally, trait effect increases to 100%, okay? So that means that every unit uh, in that range is going to get healed for 335. Everyone's gonna, this, is a, this is an M3. M3 E2 level 80, okay? None of y'all are going to see this unless you're a content creator trying to make some meme shit. Okay, so she would heal every single unit around her um, for 335 times 7. That's somewhere in the ballpark of like 2100 to like 2400, somewhere in that range, okay? And that's a really big heal. That can top off the majority of operators. Then you also got to keep in mind um, that this is a 60 SP cost. And yes, her talent does have a chance to, when a skill ends, 50% chance to immediately recover 50% of maximum HP, okay? That's 50%. That is not going to be auto-reliable by any means if you are using this clear, okay? This is a delay tactic, and that is something that you do not use, that is not required for anything in the entire game because she's pretty much the only unit currently that can delay this hard. Also, keep in mind, if you are delaying them by this much, you are not going to build up any type of momentum whatsoever. To be honest, delaying the enemies generally means that the enemies are going to get stronger because then they're going to have more time to build up their enforcers and forces and forces and forces. Unless you have an AoE combo, okay? So let's say you stall them out for AF Ayala's ability 3 in the form of Volcano, or you stall them out for Silver Ash's ability 3 in the form of uh, Snow Leopard Go Shrink Shrink. Cool. Um... It's just giga gimmicky. It's really, really, really gimmicky. And while I do understand it as a time and place, you just you have to build around it too much. And for a free-to-play budget player, that's not really going to be an option that you're going to have too much. Yes, you can do some cool memes, and this ability will have some effect sometimes. But generally, you're pretty much going to be focused on ability, uh, ability too. Which is all allies, then uh, attack range gain, attack equal to 100% of Sora's attack. So you will give all the operators 335 extra attack power, and it is additive, not multiplicative, which can be good for operators where, uh, let's say, they have, you know, fast attack speed, and you want to burn them down uh, like an Exia or some shit. That could be, you know, pretty significant. But, once again, it's just, it's coming down to the reality of the, the attack range of this shit is so, so, so yikes to play around. And once again, unless you're making meme content, um, and also keep in mind, this is a 45 cost ability. Um, you can just use another operator and get more benefit. It, it just, I feel like playing around Sora is a challenge in and of itself. And while it is really cool when you can get off some sweet combo plays, you're just not really going to be like, let's just say for example you're not going to go through the story with Sora and be like oh I can combo like this here oh next level I can combo like like this here oh I can combo do a Sora combo like this here with the enabler there and the AoE combo are there like it's just giga like it's just a fucking hassle it's not going to work every time it's just I'm not a fan of it dude and once again this all comes down to my meta if you're in love with Sora and she's your favorite girl in the entire world that is a-okay I just feel like there are better operators out there who are way less complex to use. It's just a fucking headache, man. And there's just other operators that are more worth it and do a lot more than she does with way less restrictions and playing around this attack range. Anyway, if you want to get her, go for it. In my opinion, I, I, I would rank Sora like a tier 2, tier 3 tops. I don't get why people say she's a tier 1 unit. And trust me, I've checked everybody's opinion, you know? Like, what? Moving on. Let's talk about Telopsis. Well, she's fucking broken. <laughs> Switching gears. Uh, time for me to overhype. Talopsis is the best healer in the entire game. Okay. Best healer. Tier zero. Triple S unit. Fucking amazing. Triple heal. AoE heal. Dope. Female. Hot as fuck. Pricey. Not really. 15 cost at max level for an AoE healer. Uh, increased SP of all allies on the entire map. And you don't have to play around her attack range. Because it's fucking anybody on the field gets that fucking SP regen. That's crazy. Ability 2, nuts. Turns her range even longer. Makes her heal even faster. Her stats, actually very good. Very good for a triple AoE healer. Quite good. Alright. Talopsis is fucking broken. Next up, Angelina. 
One of the best units in the entire fucking game. Broken passives. Broken ability three. Fucking nuts. Doesn't matter where you put her. Everybody's going to get benefit from an extra eight attack speed and an extra 25 HP every second if you E2 her. If you don't E2 her, well, she's pretty damn fucking bad. Now, isn't she? So... If you are going to be pulling for an Angelina, only do so if you have the mats ready. Because if you don't have the mats ready to fucking eat to this girl, just don't. Do not. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Dog, she's trash before E2. But once you do E2 her, she does become one of the best units in the entire game, in my humble opinion. Next up, we have Shining. Now, Shining's in a weird role where she's a single target healer and she counters physical damage. Okay, Shining is a very good unit. She will become uh, way better way later. Right now, my opinion, not necessary. And I say that a lot, but here's the thing, man. If you are going to invest into a Shining, okay, if you are going to invest into a Shining, all you are doing is increasing your mitigation and you're increasing your healing power. This is not going to make you be able to run less units. This is not going to be able to make you uh, help your trust farms or your three off runs in order to further accelerate your account. All she's going to do is make sure that shit doesn't die. And honestly, she's only doing that shit in the form of healing and mitigation. You can just invest into a damage dealer and have them kill shit faster to where you don't need um, as much healing. And that's just the way that it is. When you're a healer and you don't increase the damage that you are doing, if you're if you're a healer and you, and you don't increase the rate of which things are dying, all you are doing is delaying the inevitable and requiring your self-worth to have to increase in order to counterbalance that. Whereas if you just invest into an E2 level 90 uh, M3 fucking Exia or a fucking Silver Ash or an AF Ayala, everything's gonna fucking die and the lack of the healer or the need of the healer is gonna get lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. Uh, if you can invest into so many damage dealers to where the only healing that you need is Angelina's ET passive, which is fucking crazy because then she's also a healer and attack speed buffer and a damage in and of herself, all Shining does is heal. So for where we're at right now, we don't need that much healing. We can invest in other units in order to completely bypass the need for those operators whatsoever. That's why I like Telopsis, because she also increases everybody's SP regen. So when the healing is not necessary, she's still making things do more damage. She's making things heal more. She's making things tank more. Telopsis is just fucking awesome. Shining is a very, very, very good unit. But do I believe you should pull for her as a free play budget player? No, I do not. Now... The operators in the shop right now are, I believe, Sora. Sora and whom? Sora and whom? They are Sora and Shining. I would not pull for Shining. Uh, there will always be more Shining banners. I would not pull for Sora because I feel like she's too much of a hassle to play around. And if you are going to, you know, when you don't have the luxury of building around a Sora as a free-to-play budget player, I wouldn't waste the resources just to play around one unit. Anywho, that's my opinion. I know there's a lot of hot takes in here. I know that. And hey, hopefully you can see that I'm trying to come here with a bit of tact and reasoning. Like, understand, like, this is my mentality. If you think my mentality is flawed, I'm always open um, to criticism. You can challenge my points. Go for it. I am totally open to that. I know a lot of people, or sorry, some people say Tectone thinks he's right because he's very loud. Like, being loud does not mean that he's right. I don't think that at all. I think being right means that I'm right. Trust me, I'm not trying to deceive anybody. These are my thoughts. I try to give you all my rationale. So if you disagree with my reasoning, hey, awesome. Let me know. Give me your point of view. Let's get the conversation going. Anywho, fuck this banner. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the fucking video. I've been Tech Y'all have a great. Hope you're having a damn good one. Peace.